Hey everyone, this is Jason Krause, Area Director here in Trinity Fitness Colorado Springs and I uh, wanted to answer the question today, what is our unassailable difference? I'm talking about Trinity Fitness and so this is really a video meant for uh, our trainers and, and our staff. Uh, this is something that we've talked quite a bit about. Jason Palmisano has shared this often. Uh, these three things, what is our unassailable difference? So uh, Trinity Fitness is focused on three things, sharing the gospel, making disciples, and coaching with excellence. Uh, but wanted to take a moment to say, what, what's our unassailable difference? That's a big word. I actually borrowed it from a worship song, uh, unassailable. That's the name of the worship song. But unassailable, I love this word. It means unquestionable or undefeatable. Is there something about what Trinity Fitness is doing that is unquestionably or uncomparably uh, better than what's being done? And I believe so. So real quick, um, let me ask the question, are there, those, are there ministries out there that are sharing the gospel better than Trinity Fitness? I believe so. I, I believe there are ministries that are preparing people sometimes to go even to their death, to, to really go share the gospel with others. Are there ministries out there that are making disciples better than Trinity Fitness? Uh, I believe there are ministries, ministries like the Navigators and stuff that, that are really focused on doing that one task, that are doing it and doing it really well. Uh, are there gyms that are doing coaching with excellence better? I believe so. I think there are people that have given their lives to this, that maybe they've got doctorates, or, or maybe for them it is an idol and, and it's something that they just kind of serve. Uh, they're doing it better. And we can learn from these ministries. We can learn from these gyms. But that's not our unassailable difference if people are doing it better. Um, what happens when we choose to share the gospel and make disciples? We, we're passionate about these two things, but we don't want to coach with excellence. We kind of say, man, I'm into the ministry portion, but I don't, want to, I don't want to do the coaching with excellence. It's just not my thing. Well, ultimately, guys, what happens is we don't have a platform. We, we show up and people are not going to come into our class or stay around to talk if they don't feel like we're coaching with excellence, if they don't feel like we're serving them. Uh, so, so we don't want to be there. What happens if we start sharing the gospel and coaching with excellence, but we're not making disciples? Basically, this is a, a baby bottle. Uh, we, we develop a whole bunch of infant Christians, right, that, that aren't really growing closer in their walk with Jesus. They're not maturing, and so we have to make disciples. What happens if we make disciples and we coach with excellence? but we're not sharing the gospel. This is where I, uh, I'm going to take J uh, Jason Palmasano's phrase and say that we're going to become keepers of, the, of an aquarium instead of fishers of men. It, we're just going to be kind of a holy huddle, a group of Christians that are working out together, but we're not going out to the world. We're not receiving the world. And so we don't want to be there. This right here, guys, this is our unassailable difference. When, when we begin to share the gospel, make disciples and coach with excellence, we have something that nobody else has. And here's why. Uh, this was an illustration that I heard from Jason. And it was, guys, no one can defeat. Y you might have a warrior go to, let's say, uh, Orange Theory or a CrossFit gym. And they can say, hey, did they help you hit that 10K uh, you know, um, goal that you had? Or did they, did they help you snatch you know, 225? No, they didn't. But, you know, I remember that trainer that every time I went in, they shared Jesus with me. Ultimately, they led me to Jesus. They taught me how to read my Bible. They taught me how to pray. I remember that other trainer that every time I showed up, they, they talked to me about my marriage and they invested into me and they loved me well. Guys, there's no gym that can question that. There's no gym that can compare to that. There, there's, that's something that's unassailable. It's undefeatable, right? And so uh, this is what we want to be right here. This is our unassailable difference. It's when we are bringing people closer to Jesus, closer to Jesus through fitness, closer to Jesus through fitness. And, and basically, whether that means that they don't believe in Jesus at all and we start to paint a clearer picture of who this Jesus is, or whether they do believe in Jesus and we're discipling them and bringing them closer by helping them learn to read their Bible or helping them learn how to walk and, and be a, a picture within their marriage of what 
Christ is to the church. Um, no matter what we do, we're, we're always looking to bring people closer to Jesus through fitness. And if we do these three things, guys, we've got something uh, that nobody can defeat, that no one can compare to, I believe, that we can do better than any gym or any ministry out there. So what is our unassailable difference? It's right here. It's, it's in this sweet spot. And so I just wanted to share that with you today. I thought it was a, a good illustration to help us lay hold of, of that truth. Love you guys.